Hey y'all, I am Michelle Maisel. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you caught the Super Bowl last night, you might have seen the commercial where it was shot in Ghana, Accra, Ghana. Now, I am not a football uh fan i do not watch football at all but i do watch the, the halftime shows if they're good and i do try to also catch the commercials as well now the commercial that i'm going to share with you all that was shot in Accra, Ghana, um they actually had a teaser out about a month ago that's where i first seen it and i was just like oh what are they you know are they really is it really going to be a commercial in Accra, Ghana? and then of course in the um the little teaser they said hey you know uh stay tuned or whatever and then of course they showed the commercial in its entirety um during the super bowl this past sunday so if you have not seen the commercial here it is ghana in the house That's on you, bro. Besides, I'm not even real. There's always ups and downs when it comes to stuff like this and I think when it comes to African Americans and people from the African continent, a lot of times we can't just accept the good things, right? We, we always are trying to see if there's going to be a negative you know something negative in it we can't just ride it out you know be on that positive high be on that high for a minute because there's always different situations where African Americans and people from the African continent have been taken for granted and they also have been taken advantage of in their very vulnerable state and so it's like who do you trust you know people put things in place you you know think that they are there for your good you think they're there to help the people out and then they're always looking for something in return and that looking for the return actually costs more than what they're giving to you so african americans and people from the african continent are very leery when the west is starting to showcase talent or you know starting to come into the black neighborhoods going coming into the black communities going to these countries of africa a lot of times you know you got to give that side eye you got to give that mm, you know is this for real you know what's going to come of this what do the people have to give in order for whatever it is to be received it's kind of difficult sometimes to remain positive when you know you, you you know there's just been so many situations where it just didn't end up becoming the way it should be and the african americans and people in the african countries always seem to get the short end of the stick uh but it definitely was a good thing to see definitely a great thing to see uh Accra, ghana being showcased when I first seen it, I was just like, are they really there? Are they really at the McCullough Market? Or did they just take some different shots um, and then shoot somewhere else? 
but I did find a video um, on Twitter and I also read in an article as well that said that yes it was actually shot um, at the Mokola market in Accra, Ghana. It actually was shot on a Saturday, y'all. A Saturday. And if you've ever been to Mokola market, you know how busy it is on a Saturday. Um, and so for them to even be able to move through that, I, I, you know, I would be very curious to see how that was able to take place because it is literally like wall to wall street to street people uh, depending on where you are like you can't really walk um, you know it's very crowded very congested so I definitely would be curious to see how they were able to at least be able to shoot in, in different areas in the McCullough market now some of the negatives that definitely was said about this particular about the about the commercial is that number one, not everybody that was included in the commercial was Ghanaian. Now, the little boy that was featured in the commercial was not from Ghana. He was, I think they said he was from Nigeria or he was British Nigerian. Um, he was not a Ghanaian. There were some other parts of the commercial that uh, Ghanaian people were not a part of it. They did have some. Um, Ghanaian people that had their hands in it but it was not predominantly Ghanaian so some of the Ghanaian people are you know are definitely saying hey you're doing this in our country then you know it should have been strictly Ghanaians doing everything but I think that the the whole purpose of it was getting recruitment for the the continent of Africa in general and they just decided to shoot it in Ghana all right that's just where they decided to shoot it um now what's awesome about this other than what I mentioned before and I'm going to talk about the negatives but let me talk about more of the positives because I think that's important that we try to put as much positive on it as we can is that it definitely continues to put Africa on that global scale it definitely continues to put the African continent on a global level uh, for for a very long time you know the world saw Africa as this dark continent things you know they always saying things negative always saying there's so much violence always saying that the people are always in need and every time when it comes to certain situations where world leaders were involved they just excluded the African continent altogether so it's good to see that the African continent is moving forward in the global arena and that the world is seeing them now it's going to start to see them as equal partners they're going to see them as you know a continent that can be on the same playing field as they are because for a very long time the world has kind of looked down on the African continent, uh, kind of put them on the back burner, making it seem as though they are the others. And so it's good to see them put in Africa where it needs to be right up there with everybody else. So that's great to see. Now, with the negative thing, there's always some negative that could come from this, right? There's always a negative that you have to kind of put into the back of your mind. Like one of the negatives that definitely can be seen um, is that this is going to take away from Ghanaian football. And I'm not talking about the American football. I'm talking about soccer for it to make a decline in that side of Ghana. That is part of their culture. That is part of their, their country. That's a part of who they are is having a strong Ghanaian soccer team. So if they start recruiting these young Ghanaian boys, is that going to affect the soccer team at all? I mean, I, I'm not for sure. I don't know. Again, you know, I'm not all that much into sports, but that's just a question that I have that's running around in my mind. Now, it's no secret that American uh, American uh, football is just for, you know, just seen in America. But now America is to the point where they want to see it global. And the thing that, that I see in that, though, is like, why is it that America feels as though the world needs to have football, needs to have American football? What is wrong with these, uh, these countries and these, these continents continuously playing soccer like they've been playing? Like, what is the need for them to even have American football? Why can't that something that just be an American sport? But when it comes to America, America always feels like the world wants what they have. So they always think that, okay, well, if we have it, we, you know, if they have it, then they're certain that the world wants to have it as well so it's not just something that they can say they can just leave it to America and just leave it alone they always have to feel like that everybody else 
wants to be a part of whatever they are doing and that's not always the case now it is not a secret because it's been going on for a very long time that the football as far as more people being a more boys uh participating is declining it is not as as high as it used to be and that's because it is a dangerous sport uh because of you know you constantly getting tackled constantly getting hit in the head even with headgear there is still a lot of injuries that can come with that brain damage uh suffering just from a lot of long-term effects from constantly getting hit in the head and so parents are like you know what they don't want their children a part of it and so they're not encouraging their children then to join so what america is doing now since they see the decline happening in the americans with the american boys they're trying to go out and get somebody else's boys to do it then and what they're doing is they're going not only to the african continents but to to the other uh, continents as well but a lot of it is going to the African continents because if you see uh, the makeup of NFL teams, they are predominantly melanated men. They're predominantly black men is what they predominantly are. Uh, so it's, it's not it's not even going to be it's not a secret of where they're going to try to get their biggest recruitment from, and that would be from the countries of Africa. So of course you got to get them early. And what they what they're probably doing is that they're selling that American dream to the people of these countries in Africa because America they very good at selling that American dream and they make the American dream look so good they make it look so easy to obtain knowing good or well that there's many people many African Americans in the United States of America who's still looking for the dream still trying to reach it but they will go to these other countries in Africa and make it seem like it's so easy and what they will do is how they will recruit them and say hey you can play football this is going to be a way for you to be able to make it to the United States of America and so that's where that's where it starts and you have them you know you have some people that will see that as an opportunity to go to the United States and think it's going to be all wonderful and great um, and then all of a sudden that's not what it all is it's all to be so you know that's the negative I feel is not being a hundred percent truthful with these boys in these countries of Africa letting them know the real deal letting them know that you might not make it to the NFL um, you know make it so that it's realistic and don't just sell them a dream and then get them over to the country them not do well and then just leave them there to kind of fend for themselves I mean hopefully that's not really the way things are going so I definitely don't want to put a sourness on the commercial um, that was shot in Accra Ghana I do think it was a win-win for Ghana I definitely just hope that you know everything that was used resources people whatever that was needed to make the commercial hopefully uh, the Ghanaian people were able to get a gain from that because a lot of times when you have this stuff happening you know you have people that do not uh, they don't come out on top they don't you know they, they're not the ones uh, that benefited from it and so that's what's really important that it's not just the NFL that is benefiting from this that the country of Ghana is also benefiting if they want to you know if they decide to do something in another country that that country in Africa is also benefiting as well I think that's very very important I think when people start to see that yes you know they're coming here they're doing these things but they're not taking 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 without giving then people can kind of say okay maybe this is the real deal all right that is all i have to say on that thank you all for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye